Oh, it's bad. Blunt force trauma. He was hit from behind, metal bat, maybe a crowbar. Oh, no. A construction crew found him on the Bayshore Freeway under an off-ramp. Oh, can, can we talk to him? Maybe not for a while. He's in a coma. So how do you know this guy? He's, he's my men's room attendant. OK. It was John Hannigan. He did it. Oh, here we go. No, it can't be a coincidence. He worked at the theater. Junior, give it a rest. Are you going to blame every crime in California on this guy? What is this? Look, stuff in his jacket. Nicotine gum? Yeah, we already checked. He never smoked. It's probably a gift for someone else. Wait. Wait. Don't hug me. You're going to want to hug me. But don't hug me. Why? You were right about Hannigan. He's the guy. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew well, it. Oh, thank you, Mr. Mike. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Mike. Thank you. The, the, the man we saw that night, the man in the box seats, had a wristwatch. Remember? We saw him checking it. John Hannigan doesn't wear a wristwatch. I wish I could stay, but I have a column to finish. The man we saw in the mezzanine was not John Hannigan. It was the bathroom attendant. They switched places. Here's what happened. Hannigan needed a dupe, an accomplice. He tricked Gilson into helping him. Do me a favor. He must have said something Just like, two hours could long. you do me a favor? My this pleasure, is a two-hour show. There's no intermission. I need a cigarette break, but I can't be seen leaving. Could you take my place for a couple of minutes? When the lights went down, they switched places for eight, maybe 10 minutes. Just long enough for Hannigan to run two blocks and throw Kelly Esther House off the balcony. Excuse me, may I say something? I knew it. 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 Oh, I gotta call Julie. Natalie, we can't prove it. Can we? He's right. All we have is some nicotine gum and a wristwatch. Hannigan's just gonna lawyer up, he'll deny everything. I know. I know, you're right. Where's the proof? Captain, I hope this is important. I have a deadline in 37 minutes. Make that 36. Her again. Do I have to get a restraining order? It was just a review. Get over it. Mr. Hannigan, this is not about a review or what happened to Callie Esterhouse. This is an entirely different matter. This way. That's him. That's him. Are you sure? What the hell is this? It's OK, miss. He can't hurt you. Go ahead. Tell us your story. Last night, I was downtown at Winbury's. I was waiting for some friends, and he bought me a drink, uh, rum and coke. What? This is crazy. If you think. Shut up! Let her finish. Go ahead. I finished the drink and I, I felt kind of woozy, you know, dizzy. And he offered to walk me to my car. And the next thing I knew, I'm in the parking lot and I'm fighting and. He was grabbing me, and he pulled me down. This is preposterous. It wasn't me. I was home. I was writing all night. Well, her story checks out. Her dress was ripped, and she has bruises on her shoulder. I've never seen her before in my life. Well, how did you get your business card? She said you gave it to her. I have no idea. Captain, I swear to you, I was home. I don't know this girl. Mr. Hannigan, this is very important. I want you to take a good long look at this young woman. Go on, no, take your time. Be very careful. Are you telling me that you, you've never seen this girl before she walked in here today? Yes, sir. I'm sure. I'd swear on a hundred Bibles, I have never seen this woman before in my life. I believe you. Lieutenant, did you hear what he just said? Yes, I did. Did everyone in this room hear what he just said? You're all witnesses. Mom, can we go home now? Yes, we can go. Mom? Mr. Hannigan, 
I'd like you to meet Julie Teeger. Julie was in the show that you reviewed on Saturday night. But you missed her performance because you snuck off to murder your girlfriend. No. Yeah? No, she wasn't in the curtain call. She was in costume. She was wearing a wig and makeup. That's right. That's right. But in the first half, she had a solo number, and she looked just like this. You would have recognized her if you were there. I think I need to call my lawyer. Yep. We have phones downtown. You can call from there. But wait a minute, Mr. Hannigan. Your review? She's not too forgettable now, is she? Get him on here. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out there.